Okay, and we're back. Today's tutorial, like in the first part, was going to be over the theming of the HTC Evo 4G, as you see here. Um, this is running Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, this is the standard default lock screen, so we're going to go ahead and unlock. Make sure you go to the uh, App Market Install Launcher Pro Desktop Visualizer TAJM and Batstat. Um, from the market to get some of the stuff that you'll see uh, as we move forward. Switch Pro is also out there, you'll want to get that as well. So in order to do some of the theming we need to start, um, I need to select my home screen that we're going to start with. So I'm going to press the home button. It's going to ask me for a choice. We're going to choose Launcher Pro. You can set that to do a fault, default if you'd like. Um, I Just to show you that I'm on a screen and not just in blankness, I've set two screens blank for this tutorial. Um, and in this case, you'll see that this is completely empty with just a launcher icon uh, and a black screen. So we're going to start this off with the NCAA uh, theming tutorial as provided from the wonderful people over at Fluxbox Media. Uh, they were very gracious to lend us a theme today, uh, which is going to be one of our featured uh, MSU Spartans uh, through Michigan State University out of uh, East Lansing, Michigan. Um, so first off, what we need to do is, um, you'll see down here, I've got my custom uh, launcher, uh, app launcher icon indicated there. Uh, the dock is pretty empty right now, but we're going to go ahead and add an, uh, a dock to it. So we're going to go ahead and click Menu, and we're going to click on Preferences, click on Appearances. Uh, make sure you copy all the images that you get in the packages that you get from the internet or from the forums, uh, andev.org. Fandroid.com, uh, their forums, Launcher Pro's forums, Fluxbox Media if you order one of the NCAA packs. Copy everything to your micro card that's on the actual device. That way it makes it easier for you to call it up. You can do it many ways uh, via USB cable um, or adapter to your machine, whatever suits you best. But just make sure you get it on the machine so that way you can pull it up. Um, we're going to modify the dock background. We're going to go into custom. Um, and this one is because it's in the MSU theme. I've decided to create a folder called MSU theme. Uh, I put all the icons that they wanted me to put on here, including the wallpaper, the app launcher icon, and the dock. And because we're modifying the dock at this point, we're going to select that for the dock. It takes us back to this menu. We're going to say back, back, and boom. There you have it. There you have the 100% glossy, full, gleaming, beautiful, high color, high res um, dock. Now we're going to need to change the uh, icon that does the app launch right there. So you can just hold that down. Brings up a menu called Edit to Shortcut. We're going to change it, change the icon, or swipe gesture action. In this case, we're going to change the icon. Uh, it's going to be a custom icon because they gave us one in the package. Remember, we left it under MSU theme. Uh, it's right there up in the upper corner. So we're going to choose that by clicking it with our finger. And if you notice at the bottom, We'll zoom in a little bit. Booyah! Look at that high, de high definition resonation type graphic of the S from Michigan State. Okay, um, with Launcher Pro you get five uh, essential dock icons down here at the bottom where my finger is. Uh, it's one right about here, two, three, and then four. Uh, mine are all blank right now because I don't use them that often. Uh, and if I do, they're the ones that you see that just came across the screen, but you can't because they're in white. So disregard that. To add one, you all you need to do is click on the location where you want to be. It's going to ask you to change the shortcut, change the icon. You're going to want to change the shortcut, choose the app that you wish to change it to, and then it'll give you a gallery searcher like this, applications, choose it, and in this case ours is the phone. So we're going to go to phone, and we're going to say default launcher or custom. We want to choose custom for this case. And I'm going to go to insight icons because I know that that's where some of the custom ones are. And I want to use this black icon so I can see it down there. Now look at that. See that? Very nice. Um, and you can do that for the rest of them across texts, mail, web, whatever you want to put down here. Any app, any icon, as long as you get them. Like I said, Fluxbox has uh, been so gracious to give us uh, a demo pack of the Michigan State theme. Um, it features the wallpaper, a dock, the app launcher icon, and I believe 20 dock icons. 
Uh, you can only fill 15 on the dock at any one point in time, uh, but they gave us 20 or 25, and then they gave us 45 icons for the home screen up here. Uh, I'm going to change the wallpaper real quick. So click menu, wallpaper, gallery chooser. In this case, we know it's in the MSU theme directory that they left us. And that's the wallpaper. Brings it up to allow us to size it. We're going to widen that. Click save. It does its little deal and saves it. Booyah, look at that. MSU theme with the whole nine yards. Dock bar, um, app launcher icon, wallpaper. Now let's add some home screen icons. We can do that by holding down on the screen. It'll bring up the menu to do a shortcut or a widget. We're going to do a shortcut to an application. Uh, Skype is installed, so is Bank of America. So I'm going to choose Skype for this demo to give you an idealistic, blah, 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 blah. Screw that. I'm going to give you an idea how this works. Skype. And then it asks you if you wish to change it. You can touch right there. And we're going to do that in a second. Or you can change the name. So I'm going to leave the name because I don't care. But I've moved everything down here to their white themes in a white folder because that's what they are. And they've provided me, it looks like, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, about 17 icons, 18 icons to test with for this demo. Here's the Skype icon. Shows it Shane changing it right there. We leave the name. We press OK. And then up in the upper corner, booyah. High res, glossy, 84 by 84 pixel um, launcher icon for the app. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add another one real quick. We're going to do the Bank of America. So I click on Applications after I click on that. There's Bank of America. Um, we're going to leave that name there alone. We're going to change it by clicking on it. And then we're going to click White. And then there's my Bank of America icon that they gave me. And click OK. And booyah, see? Look at that. Beauteous, beauteous, beauteous. Now all these icons that you see on the desktop here are, are movable, or I should say application home screen are movable just by holding your finger on them until it vibrates and move it and drag it to where you need to. And in this case we're going to drag it down. And I'm going to line them up across the bottom because I want to show you the TAJM widget. So we're going to hold down on the screen here and we're going to add widget. And my list of widgets shows up analog, bat stat, beautiful widgets. You have to pay for that one because I have that desktop visualizer. We're going to get to that in the next tutorial. Um, we're going to go down to the one I like using. Digital Clock by Maze is out there. That's free as well as Smooth Calendar and TAJM. Uh, go get them. Comments bar will have links to these. Um, this is TAJM. It gives the doc or gives the um, date and time and uh, in text format, which is really slick. Um, we're going to say show the date, so you just click that so it turns into a check, and click back, and then boom, there it is up in the upper hand corner. Now it's a little small, a lot of people don't like that, so one of the reasons why I had you install desktop visualizers to do this, Launcher Pro Plus requires, uh, when you get plus version, you can resize widgets, and that's uh, very important. Uh, the demo version doesn't allow that, so make sure you get the plus. Put some support out there for the app developer, uh, Federico. He did a really good job with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down on the app. We're going to let go. It's going to turn yellow, just like you see right there. If you grab in the corner and stretch it out, it then stretches and resizes. Once you got it to the size you want, then you click your little back button down here, this one right there. And that makes it stick to the way it is. We're now going to add the bat stat widget which makes it look really cool. We want 4x1. This looks good. Percentage string. All these you can leave pretty much default. If you see, they've got like little check marks, little check marks. Bam, we're good. I don't care. Um, I don't want any background, so we're going to do um, um, no background. Uh, and then we're going to leave the white text, and we're going to just go bam like this. And then booyah. See? There you go. Now you got the bat stat showing. And that pretty much runs down how TAJM works as well as BATSTAT. Uh, the same applicable method can be handled when dealing with the widget for Digital Clock by Maze, which a lot of people really like, and it is free out there, so I'll show you that real quick. Here's a 1x4 uh, example of it, and here it is. Let me move it down for you. And that's it right down there. Gives the date and the time. Everything's in number format as opposed to the word format up here. So, um, And that's how that works. And this is the... Uh, MSU theme in its full entirety uh, as provided by the NCAA package, one team package from Fluxbox Media. Uh, graphics are provided from the people at 
launcherproicon.droidicon.com uh, and they're uh, wonderful artists over there so make sure you give some support out there uh, like I said check the comments below for the links to these websites the people that support them and create them uh, and get your apps in the market before you get to modifying and customizing uh, we'll be back after the break we're going to show you how to do a simplistic theme uh, that I have using very simplistic theme we call it Insight Minimal uh, the people at Flux by Flexbox Media also provided that one for us uh, I've done some customization on that one, so I'm going to show you that, as well as I'm going to show uh, new 1757's uh, custom Win7 HDPI from the XDA forum. So, after the break, hope you enjoy. Thanks.